What's up today, everyone? Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another video. I just want to take this time to share an experience with you all. All right. So I got a question recently. Someone uh, asked about uh, a job, <laughs> a job that they went on a job interview and they didn't get picked. And they just wanted to, you know, know some advice for that situation. You know, like how can they get picked on the next job? Right. And, <laughs> you know, I personally feel like, you know, I can help you out more with talking on it on the video than I can with typing because you, you, your boy fingers are loaded. They don't move as fast as I can talk. In case you can't tell, your boy can talk all day, right? And I figured that, you know, making this video and posting it, it may help a few more people. So uh, what I am going to say is, hey, listen, you know, even Jordan misses a free throw, all right? If you go on YouTube and type in Jordan Miss Free Throws, he gonna show you all the one. Ain't nobody perfect. There gonna be some jobs you gonna go into interview. You won't get it. You might not know why. You know. Now, if you want, you can you know email that guy or the lady who uh, who interviewed you, and you know greet them in the email and say I was wondering you know why I didn't get the position. Could you provide me some feedback so that I could better equip myself for my next opportunity? And people will respect that. And, they, and, and sometimes they'll be real with you. They'll say, hey, to be honest, you know, you came in here smacking on gum. You know, you had some red gum. I seen it all back in your teeth when you was talking. You tried to go through the whole interview with gum in your mouth. You know how people try to hide the gum when they talk? They call it a professional chew. <laughs> people are gum way back here. Like, man, I, I can see your gum, man. Just go on and take that thing out, you know. I'm the type of person, man, you know, my attention go wherever. So, I, you might be talking, I might be looking at the gum the whole time like this. <laughs> I might try to pull my eyes back and pray, pretend I'm paying attention, but my eyes be looking at the gum. My eyes be looking at the dog that's running back there or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to the video. We don't here talking about dogs running around. But look, hey, it could be a number of reasons, man. But the reality is you didn't get the job, so you must keep going. Hey, send out 30 more applications. Get you... You know, if you get you 10 more interviews lined up, you're going to get one. All you need is one. <laughs> All you need is one. Sometimes you have to stand on a mountain of no's for that one yes. Your yes will come. And guess what? Guess what no means? No doesn't mean no. No means next opportunity. So you got to get ready for the next opportunity. Learn from this experience. You have to think in your mind and say, I wonder what I did wrong. Or like I said, ask them for, for feedback. They may tell you, hey, look, you had your pants in here sagging, man. I mean, just being real, the type of company we are, we are not trying to see your underwear. You know, you came in here, you know, you had on blue boxes, baby blue boxes, you know, shoes wasn't tied, had the gum in your mouth, and, and you was texting, you know. <laughs> you know, the interview would be like, hold one second, I'll be right back. They leave out. You don't know this, but they looking at you on camera in the other room. They done left out. They done left out of the interview. You pull out your phone. You over here on Facebook. You know what I mean? Texting. They like, man, look at this guy. Look at this girl. On the interview, I step out to get a cup of coffee, a cup of water. They on their phone. Then they thinking they gonna do the same thing on the job when the manager ain't around, right? So, hey, I don't know why they didn't hire you, man, all right? Because if it was me, I, I, you know what I mean? I would have hired you. You know what I mean? Well, you you know what I'm saying? You probably had to pull your pants up. <laughs> nah, I was just messing with you. But check this out, man. Um, you know, you just got to go to the next opportunity. People may never really tell you the real reason why. And to be honest, they just may not like you. You know, that's just real. Some people like their tea hot. Some people like their tea cold. <laughs> you know, it... That's just what it is. Sometimes in an interview, people are looking for a male. They like, hey, you know, I, 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 I need a male in this establishment to handle this. Some people think I, I need a female in this establishment to get along with these people and this and that. Or what. Some people already have in their mind uh, what type of person that they're looking for. So sometimes it's not your fault. Because sometimes they have an expectation and here you come, you're a great person, but it's just not what they are looking for, right? So I'm going to tell you this little story, but uh, you know what I mean? Then I got to get out of here, okay? So, uh, you know, your boy got to get back to the streets, man, all right? So like I say, if you want to find me, I'm in the streets, man. Come on out here. Come hit me up in the streets, man. <laughs> but look, so uh, let me tell you how I got a job, man. I figured this may help you and give a little bit of hope to you, right, in spite of what you're going through. 
So <laughs> this is how I got a job. This was I was in college. I was uh I think I was a freshman. Yeah, I might have been a freshman. This was in uh Hammond. I was I went to Southeastern. So, you know, I had a 24-hour membership, right? At a, a fitness center. And I used to go there and work out, and they had a uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say the name of the place, you know what I mean? GNC. You know, the place where they sell vitamins, protein powder, and stuff like that. And so, you know, I used to work out, and I used to come out there and look at the, I was like, man, this would be a cool place to work. I mean, I like to work out, I, you know, take vitamins, or fish oil, or whatever, you know, uh, glucosamine for your joints and stuff. I'm like, this would be a cool place to work or whatever. All right, so cool. <laughs> then one day, I was in that thing working out, you know what I mean? Your boy was hitting them fives like, you know, you got to make sure you're breathing, right? I was hitting them fives like this, five-pound dumbbells going all the way down, all the way up. You know what I mean? Hitting them fives. And uh, now I was working out. This guy came in. He had a GNC shirt on, you know, but he came in and went, you know, went to the back. I guess he changed his workout outfit. And boom, I locked eyes with that GNC. See, I had a goal in my mind. When I saw him with that shirt, I say, man, I'm about to get a job. You know, I don't know how it's about to happen, but it, but it, it's about to happen. So let me tell you what happened. He went, he got changed or whatever. You know what I mean? I, I kept on hitting my fives or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm I, I'm looking in the mirror, seeing if he looking at me hitting them fives, trying to impress him. Nah, I was just joking. But look, he came out, he was working out or whatever. So I finished up my little workout or whatever. I took my earbuds out. I went up to him. I said, what's up, man? How you doing? He said, hey, what's up? You know, I told him my name. I shook his hand. And, uh... I said, hey, I said, I noticed your GNC shirt. I said, do you work at that one right there? He said, yeah, actually, I just got transferred in from New Orleans. Uh, you know, they, I'm running this store. They needed this and that. And man, I, I, I pitched myself to him. I said, man, that's awesome. I said, look, let me tell you a little bit about myself. You know, I'm in the health and fitness, and I think that I will be a really good addition for the establishment. You know, I said, I have a sales background. I love talking to people. You know, this, 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 and that, and boom, boom. And this guy was like, man, he's like, man, man, I like you, man. You know, he's like, I, I like you, man. And I was like, cool. You know what I'm saying? I like me a little bit too. You know, no, nah, I'm just joking. But, you know, we began to talk. And then, so at the end, at the end of the conversation, see, you know, you, you can't be afraid of no, you know, you, you, you can't be afraid of no, even though it was a good conversation and he sounds like he might, he might be interested in hiring me. If I would have just said, okay, man, well, cool, nice meeting you, have a good day, he probably would have said, have a good day, I'll see you around. But I asked him a question in the end, I gave him a call to action. You know, I said, well, look, awesome. I said, uh, well, look, would it be a good time to, you know, come by and, and you know, fill out an application? And this guy said, I tell you what, man, it, you know, you're persistent. I could tell, you know, I see, he said, he said, come on, follow me. This guy, I kid you not, I kid you not, this guy said, follow me, you know, and that's what I did. I followed him. He had his keys with him. We walked outside of the gym around. This was like 11 o'clock at night, you know? Now, don't tell nobody this because your boy might get fired, you know what I mean? Nah, he don't, he don't work there no more, you know? He left, uh, but that, that's all in the video. But we walked around the thing. Walk into the building. I'm talking about it's pitch black in there. You know what I mean? Homeboy went to the back, got the paperwork and everything. For, he said, look, just look, go ahead. Just go ahead and feel this out. He hit the lights on and everything. Go ahead and feel this thing out right now, whatever. He said, when can you start? I say, man, I can start right now. Then he laughed and he said, well, you, you know, it is late at night. And this and that. And, but I was joking. I, I ain't about to, you know, but, you know. I, I meant it though. I can start right now, like tomorrow. And then, you know, that's what happened. He said, all right, cool. Come in, you know, boom, boom, boom. I'm going to kind of, you know, come in. I'm going to train you this and that or whatever. These going to be your hours. So, and then it took off from there. And my whole time in college, I worked at GNC. You know, I would go to class. I would get out. You know, I would go work out. Take a little shower or whatever. You know what I mean? Put that little deodorant on. Boom, boom. Go in GNC. You know, work, you know. And then after that, man, it's about time to go to bed, to be honest with you. But 
I'm just sharing that story is sometimes, man, you have to be relentless. You can't, you can't think no. You have to see every, because see, you have to exude confidence. When you pop up on somebody in your business or if you sell something or whatever it is, the worst thing that can happen is they tell you no. That's the worst thing. And you didn't lose anything. You know what I mean? So you 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 have to be relentless, right? You gotta you 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 gotta you gotta keep going. So in your situation with the job, you know, yes, it's cool to send out them applications. But man, listen, some sometimes in workplaces you just you just gotta pop up on a Monday morning, eight o'clock a.m. They all getting in with their coffee. You walk in there with your resume. Hey, how you doing today? My name is you know such and such. Hey, listen, I put in an application uh, last week. I hadn't really heard back. I was wondering if any is the manager in. Now, very few people are going to tell you, hey, get out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Very few people are going to say, get out of here. The average establishment is going to say, yeah, well, hold on one second. Let me go get Then the guy going to come out the back with his cup of coffee. You know, coffee going to be steaming. And that's when you stick your hand out and you introduce yourself. And I guarantee you, you have a higher percentage chance of getting hired than somebody whose name is just in a stack. Why? Because people... Uh, People like your confidence. People like how you're going for it. People like how you're right there in their face. They ain't gotta look through the stack and, and, and wonder if this person's gonna be that. Is this person gonna be that? They're looking at you right there in the flesh. They saying this is a nice person. He seems to get along with everybody. This, 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 and that. So if you do that to 20 different places, somebody gonna hire you, man. Somebody gonna get you a job. You gonna have your name, you gonna have your little name badge on. You gonna have your little Instagram selfie on there by Monday morning like this right here. So my um, my advice to you is just to be relentless, you know? Don't take no for an answer. No means next opportunity. So, you know, you're gonna be all right. It's happened to me before. I've interviewed for jobs and didn't get them, you know? Uh, it just, it is what it is, you know? Everybody can't get the job but you can increase your chances, right? By being a force to more than one place, you know? It's almost like some kids, you know, if you if you give these, if you put a pinata out there and you give the kids a stick, the first time they hit the pinata, ain't no candy coming out. And if you watch a group of kids hit the pinata, a few of them gonna tap it three or four times, they gonna throw the stick down and, and throw a fit and walk off. But you're going to have one or two kids that's going to be beating that pinata down like, like it ain't nobody's business. And guess what? All of a sudden, candy coming all out. Now, the kid who quit and gave up, he, all, he gone home. He crying. He on the side. But this dude that hit the pinata, he getting the benefits. He getting all the Tootsie Rolls, gummy bear. Like, he's filtering through everything. <laughs> he looking for the chocolate. He, look, he getting the M&Ms and things. Now, he going to leave you all the little sour gummy worms and stuff he don't want. And then when you come back, now you, you know, the odds not in your favor. It's because the person who steps out and is relentless, you know, the person who keeps on hitting that pinata, you got to hit that pinata. Every day, you should be hitting the pinata. Some days ain't nothing going to come out. You still need to smile. You know, you still need to smile. Keep on hitting the pinata. Pretty soon, Tootsie Rolls flying out everywhere. You know what I mean? Then people, you know, going to see you and be like, Dang, how he get that job at that place? How he do this? Oh, he must know somebody. He must do this. He must do that. Oh, he's an overnight success. He's a this and that. You know, that's that's what people are going to think. But nobody was there when you was hitting that pinata every single day when nothing was coming out but air. So keep on hitting that pinata. You're going to be all right, man. Hey, this won't be the first time that you didn't get the job, and this won't be the last time. But you must keep going. Because if you just lay in your bed and cry, I can guarantee you one thing, ain't nobody gonna call you. Why? Because you have you you have nothing flowing. You gotta get out there. You gotta you gotta take some names, you gotta introduce yourself, you know? You gotta brush your teeth, man. You gotta go ahead and smile. Let them know, hey, how you doing? Hey, listen, let, let me tell you how I could, you know, let me tell you how I could help this company. 
You know, you got to sell yourself. See, either you, you know, sell or be sold. Everybody's selling something. You know what I mean? When you, when you around the little kid, if they want some ice cream, they're, they're selling you on the ice cream. Right? When you walk in Walmart, these bags, these items, these $4.99 for a bag of chips, they're, they're selling you on that. So in this world, you need, you got to take control. You have to sell people on who you are and what you can do for them. All right. So, but you're going to be all right though. You know, just drop me a comment if you want me to, you know, further elaborate on this. But uh, yeah, just want to share this experience of how I got that uh, my job at GNC, man. Uh, because I had, you know, I had applied before, to be honest with you. Ain't nobody hit your boy back, you know. For what reason? I don't know. Maybe my muscles was too big, you know what I mean? Popping out the sleeves or something. Nah, I just play it. But nobody ain't called me back. I didn't know why. But I knew I, I knew if I popped up on the person that was running the show and let him know how I could take his establishment to the next level in a respectful way, not trying to, you know, uh, you know, yeah, you know, not not trying to put any friction like I'm trying to take his his spot or something, but letting him know how I could be, uh, you know, a helpful force under his lead under his leadership. Guess what? People like that. Why? Because they want to hit their goals. They, if they're the manager, if they're over this. If you're coming and see submission is getting sub means under mission, you know, you're getting under the mission. People want somebody that's under the mission that's going to help push forward. Why? Because it's a win for everybody. But if you come into the interview and you just cocky and it's just all about you, you just in there. Well, yeah, you know, I did this before I did this. And you just seem like, you know, everything you're not teachable, you're not reachable. Uh, you know, you don't seem like you can adapt. You don't seem like you can help the, co uh, the company. Then they may pick someone else, but you have to let them know what it is that you carry because they don't know you. You only have that small window in your interview to present yourself, right? But you don't want to sound cocky or anything like that. I'm not telling you to go in there arrogant. But at the same time, you need to let them know, hey, listen, I'm I'm the I'm the man for the job. You know, look no further. <laughs> you know, but hey, love you all so much, man. Listen, y'all have a good day. Gotta get on out of here. Gotta get back in these streets, man. <laughs> love you all so much.